Welcome to advanced basic video number one. Now, I would like to look at dynamics. Uh, I haven't done the uh, dynamics in the beginner series or the intermediate series, in fact. If you've watched through those, you'll notice that a few of you have uh, sent emails regarding dynamics. The reason that I don't approach it too early, it's a very strategic uh, plan, is because it can tend to inhibit correct breathing or it can tend to force the lips to tighten up. Um, and until you've got a control of the whole breathing and sound mechanism, uh, I, I wanna get that, that flowing and resonance, body resonance happening first before we start and, and think about playing softly. It's, it's more difficult to play softly than, than loudly on a, on a brass instrument for several reasons. Um, Arben, 150 years ago, says, play with all the strength and brilliancy of sound possible. And that was on exercise one. There's a reason for that. We want to get good air control, good flow, good sound. Then once we've got the fundamentals really working efficiently, then we add dynamics. So I do a lot of this and I do a lot of that. Right, so this, imagine the lips, top lip, bottom lip. Okay, so they're very close together when it's soft. It's more open when it's loud. Okay, so when we start playing more softly, the tendency, one is to not breathe correctly. Now, if you've watched the first two series, you'll know what I'm talking about. Atmospheric pressure, breathing up, and then releasing, using nature, using the elasticity of the body and getting a really relaxed, resonant sound. Now what tends to happen is when we're playing softly, firstly we breathe to here and then go sub-atmospheric pressure so we're having to push the air out of the body. So think about that, the aperture's smaller so the lips have probably got more of a tendency to tighten and as in pinch, say the word pinch. So we have a tendency to tighten up and then a tendency to have to push the air. If you breathe to here, try it, just take a small breath and then move the air. You'll feel that engagement of the abdominal muscles versus full breath, full expansion. You'll feel it a lot easier to move the air without the body tightening. And then the lip can stay loose. Now I've said a thousand times in the first couple of series of videos, the lips respond to airflow. Now as the lips are closer together they're letting less air out okay so we can still stick with the but there's even less air moving through and use your your ear to dictate um what you need to do as far as tone control and, and sound goes but what we tend to do again is tighten the lip and then we've got this strain in the body because we're pushing because we haven't taken a nice enough breath and we're meeting tight lips so the feeling is uh, and it's, you can feel that back up where it should be like nice easy airstream nice relaxed picture the color of the airstream okay and the middle of the lips very loose Okay, so firstly, I'd like to demonstrate just getting softer on one note. Here we go. Now, if you have a look at the, uh, the sound spectrum, there's more harmonics uh, in a louder note. So it's easier for the trumpet to lock into a note at a louder volume, the softer the note, the actually the harder it is to control on the instrument just because of the because of the the physics of the horn. So we have got that to play with, but if you can get that air in and then just let it go. Actually take it back to the scratchiest, softest sound you can actually find, but let that middle of the lip stay loose. And then you'll find that there requires no push from the body uh, and it's just a lot easier to flow. Now the whole concept of shape going around uh, still uh, holds where the pitch change 
coming from from the the, the firmness of the, the the lip the aperture corners um that's still valid okay so that leads me on to range development the biggest um misunderstanding and i believe destructive information that people get uh the biggest source of frustration is from being told it's all about the air more air more air more air more air and although it may work for some generally i know for myself that didn't answer the question and it led me to have more problems than if i had have understood like i do now the concept of shape and where how pitch is determined so to develop high range why would we try to pump a heap of air through a smaller aperture to develop notes that we've never played before think about that wide and then we're trying to open up here and then we as we get higher we narrow soft loud soft loud logic would suggest it's easier to find that frequency by keeping everything really small however again the same rules apply as when playing softly you don't want to tighten the middle of the lip and you don't want to blow too hard because that puts the system under pressure puts the body under pressure so just like when approaching that soft note we want to experiment with shape in finding new harmonics so again we must take that full breath right up real expansion then as we go higher now you can hear that the volumes sort of getting less and less because I'm not pushing with the body at all now I know that flies in the face of what a lot of people teach and that's fine because what has worked for me and what is scientifically sound is that you can certainly blow the heck out of the air but if it was as easy as that no one would be watching this video and no one would have problems on the trumpet it's it's counterintuitive as to how it works the body again is volume now if you want to play a loud note up higher sure i can put more air through it but i know where that frequency is now if you've never played up in the upper register or you want to improve your playing in the upper register do it softly get the full breath in let the air come out through loose lips and slowly work up through the harmonics really really softly now as i've said in another couple of videos if you were to put your your, your fingers right in to where my abdominal muscles are you will not feel a thing change there and people will always say you've got to push from here and you've got to push harder faster if it works for you fine but i challenge you to find the notes without doing that and then recognize that the lips then have to open more to allow a wider amount of air wider oscillation so more volume more airflow through the lips there's a higher amplitude okay but you've got to do that after you've found the pitch low high oh, oh. now look at the videos regarding shape what comes into play there for some people it's the jaw position changing for some people it's the tongue position changing this changes and it doesn't matter um what style of play you are if you can recognize this it's the easiest way to improve your playing so for example if your upper range is limited then find the shape requirement very softly and then after a full breath start and do harmonic lasandos up an octave but and see where that starts to happen where the throat starts to choke and where the body starts to tighten up that is a compensation for not knowing the correct shape if the shape is correct going up then the note will speak going up all the way up because you won't be pinching the middle of the lips and the tension at the sides of the lips will change according to the note that you want to play 
So again, I demonstrate pitch change. Doesn't matter how hard I strum it, strum it very softly or very loudly. I'm an awesome ukulele player. You can see what's changing pitch and you can see what determines volume. The pluck is the blow of the air. The tension is the change of the bit of the body that touches the trumpet, which is the lips. Now, some people will say, what came first, the chicken or the egg? Do they tighten up because of the airflow or the other way around? Well, I suggest when you're experimenting with this stuff to go figure out what this is doing, then add volume, not the other way around, because what this will do is you'll pinch if you try and put too much air through it. So again, I demonstrate. Okay, so the notes there, it sounds awful, I know that, but I'm not trying to put any volume through it. Then all of a sudden, if we wanted to add volume, that has to happen. Okay, so first find the tension, then add the volume. Okay, dynamics and range development are very closely related. That's video one. See you in video two in the advanced series for the circle and the square. It'll make sense when you see it. Have a great day.